Hello, my name is Kalavino. I belong to the Sovereignty Group, Kupai Haino o Hawaii. I am a Konohiki, Kono Ui Ui. I also belong to the House of Nobles. I am a member of the Tribunal Tribe. Stop doing that, fucker! What else? What else? Stop, stop, stop! stop. <laughs> I saw that. I saw you. Uh, I saw them all. The tribunal, the Konohiki, and, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. the House of Nobles. I did them all. Hey, John, you gotta see who you belong to. Put an outfit on. Oh, you gotta add it to them. You gotta fix them up, people. Yeah. yeah. You just take them. Whatever, no good. You just take them off. Look okay, John. Yeah, Yolani Pal is very nice. Look nice, yeah. Yolani Pal. John, John, John. See what you are. Right there, John. Hi, my name is my name is John Tora, John Espa. I'm part of the House of Nobles, which has been for the last ten years, and um, I also was elected to the House of Nobles for the Minister of the Interior. member of the royal family and I am a Kunihiki of Kunihuli with Mike D and with uh, Calvin and uh, today we just finished the tribunal so we, we thought we introduced ourselves to everybody out there you know, Aloha. 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 So we are also out and treat yourself as a tribunal tribe. So you don't know who we are. You do pretty well, man. You people not that. Oh, tribunal coming! The tribunal just not with the singer. <laughs> Go ahead, Amy. Yeah. Okay, girl, you're on your way. Hello, huh? My name is Julia Thora. Informing you that we have been part of the House of Nobles for about 10 years now. And I'm also part of, um, I'm a Konohiki and so I'm acting liaison of foreign affairs. And to date, we have more than a thousand of our protective orders that has gone out to a lot of Kanaka Maori. They're helping to Malama or take care of our family's properties. We're the descendants of Kamehameha, also Kamehameha III, and Kalani Opu'u, and all of the different um, royal families that have been in Hawaii over the years. Um, we're also the heirs of Queen Leo Kalani, and she. I think there's a lot of things that uh, people don't know about her and uh, just recently found was the fact that she was put back on the throne after 1893 when they dethroned her. Um, it was all conspiracies and it was supported by the U.S. government. A lot of lies have been um, put out to the people, even by President um, Harrison. Anyway, point being that after they dethroned her, um, the people basically went underground and they either hid, physically hid, or they were, they changed their names. And um, I'm part of the founding members of the Hawaiian Genealogical Society, who was formerly called the Hawaiian Genealogical Society. But history notes over in the archives, it states that Princess Po'omai Kalani, who's our ancestor, she she started the Hawaiian Genealogical Society. Um, but um, what I'll point out today is that uh, I think not many Hawaiians, not many people know that they 
the overthrow guys, you know, all the conspirators, treasonous persons, pirates, all criminal activists, uh, privateers, they put Queen Iliopalani back on the throne for one day. She became queen for a day. And that, that happened in That happened in 1915, September 17, 1915, and the purpose was to inaugurate the Pan Pacific or the Balboa Day. And here's here's information that came out of the Mid Pacific Magazine. And and after she died in 1917, it shows that. They made a proposal and they called for a Pan Pacific Conference. And there's about, there's actually 12 points that they did to pull together an illegal entity called the Pan Pacific Conference. Um, what's interesting is, number five, their move was to own real estate or erect buildings needed for housing, exhibits, dioramas, art galleries, or in taking care of visitors, provided and maintained by the respective local committees. What they did was they basically set up an illegal contract and um, had, had our queen, you know, under duress, stress, usurpation, and coercion, and genocide activities, and they took advantage of the queen and her people. And um, the reason why we came together with the Hawaiian Genealogical Society was because there were stories of how people were being beaten, killed, and thrown on Kalapapa. So we are peoples of genocide. And um, just to inform you that uh, one, of the, one of the moves to make corrections is forming the tri tribunal because we as heirs of Kamehameha III we have his bloodlines have his have genealogies put in place I found that he had seven children and um, it's in the archives um, all of you Kanakama need to do your homework you need to do your research because there's um, so many Ohana that actually are part of the royal families we have been basically taken advantage of and we're surrounded by criminals, you know. So it's hard to find good people, but they're still good people. <laughs> and we're we're here to make corrections. Anyway, aloha. Good, good, good. There you go with the animal. Put all the good parts on. Oh, where he went? Give it to the car. See the other day. Oh. I had to go, yeah, I had to go. Tell him, huh? Tell him.